What's up, guys? It's your boy Flame, bro. And today, we're gonna be um, diving into the best way to get money and best way to get to novice rank. I'm pretty sure. Like, there's no other starter quests aren't it. Like, this is how you level up. This is the best way to get money and items. So you can start your trading journey, start getting them items, get your stats up. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into the chest route. So really, the best route is going from like basically around Mount Sea Watch, bro. There's so much chest, like you get so much loot, and like it's the perfect length. But so you can just like loop it, like keep doing it, and the chest just respawn. So you start off here, two chests right here, and then you can go down below it. And there's like, I want to say five, seven, like eight more chests. There's usually one right here behind these stairs. And then there's one on each side under here. And then there's, oh yeah, they're spawned in over here. Okay, so there's a chest right here on this side of the water. And then on the exact same place, but on the other side. And then there's five chests underneath all the way down. Yeah, right here, right here. C5. And see, look, I got, I just got a hard amulet dole. That's one of the best items in the game. So yeah, you get a lot of good items from this, guys. Like, this is real life. The best way to level up to get to level like 25-ish. I want to say, once you become a novice wizard doing novice quests and then apprentice wizard doing apprentice quests, those are the best ways to level up. But until you're a novice, I'm pretty sure just farming this chest route was probably the best way to level up because you also get money and all these good items at the same time and it might be faster leveling up than starter quests to be honest because starter quests are trash so next you want to come over here you see this bridge if you go down right here you'll see two chests and yeah so if you guys want to see more videos on this game just leave a like and comment oh yeah i got the invisible glitch so if you get turned invisible just take your hair on and off and you'll be visible again yeah so if you like this game you want to see more videos on this game just leave a like so let me know comment what video you see uh there's build videos i could make i could make how to um what's it called trade good because like trading is one of the easiest ways to get money too i usually trade while i'm doing this route but since it's a video i'm just going to show you guys the route yeah, there's all these chests right here. And then there's chests. See, look at these items, guys. This is great. And then if you come down here, there's usually two chests right here. Yup, yup. And uh, yeah, you see this evil <laughs> boss place? There's places like this all over the route where, cause anywhere where you see a bandit camp or a magic council camp, those are just base spawns. And in those spawns, the two different camps can spawn and um, boss places can spawn. And yeah, so I'm about to kill this boss real quick. I just want this chest and then I'm going to kill the boss. Yeah, that's why you want to be neutral while you do this, because then all the bosses won't target you until you fight them, which is really useful because look, I'm about to kill the boss before he even hits me. And then uh, also it's really good to be neutral because when you find the bandit camps, you don't want to do it to the magic council camps because you'll get a bounty and fine and stuff. But the bandit camps, you can loot them without the bandits even targeting you. So it just makes it a lot faster. So first at the swamp, you're going to want to get these chests underneath the water. There's like five or so, I think. But yeah, just get all these. See, th this route is so good. There's so much chests. And then if you come up here, uh, what's it called? Yeah, up here. There should be four chests here. They're not here. Somebody already got them. But usually there's four chests here. And then if you have the jump, you could just run to this place. But if you have the magic jump, you can do this and just like skip your way all the way to the next spot. Another video I might make is um, the best moves for PvP and PvE you can make. Because I'm pretty sure my moveset's pretty cracked. Like I've got some really good ideas on how the pvp in this game like how what moves you want to make for pvp and then you already saw the pve move i use gatling gun moves or like when you shoot a whole bunch are definitely the best in pve 
but they're kind of bad in PvP unless you have a combo going on with another magic, which I'll get into later, because I'm gonna actually for sure make a video on how to kill King in Summerhold without even getting hit. With all you need is two people, you and somebody else, and you can kill him in under 10 seconds. Like, it's actually insane the way I kill him. I might make a guild, I might not, I don't know yet. I might just join one. I'm gonna just let the route, like, I'm just gonna leave you guys with the route now. I've already said everything I wanted to say. I'm just gonna let you guys see the rest of the chest spawns now. See ya. Thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something if you did don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff and yeah be prepared to see more on this game because i've been like actually grinding this game if you want to see certain like videos or have ideas for videos for this game you know put them in the comment section you already know what it is and yeah i see y'all in the next one see ya